hi guys and welcome back to the channel this week we're on a caravan and camping club temporary holiday site at the royal yacht club near bridlington as you know it's a site we've been to so many times we're in the motorhome but this time we're in the caravan for the first time on here and it's the first time we've gone off grid but to be fair we're doing quite well the power's lasting, the solar panel's working a treat because it's really sunny, so everything's good. Um, but particularly in this vlog, I want to talk to you about the awning that I'm sat in at the minute. Um, you'll have to forgive the wind because it is really, really windy today, so it's blowing around a little bit. But we've just bought a new awning for the caravan, so we thought we'd give you a look at this and see what you think. Um, yeah so if you let us know in the comments what you do think of this i'll give you a little bit of a look around it and what it does it is quite got a few clever little quirky things about it which i'm actually really quite impressed with so let's go have a look and see what it's got this is the outside of it as you can see it's got lots of storm straps on and these actually come with the awning you don't have to buy them as an added extra so there's like three twin ones down the front and then there's one on each side as well just here the awning itself is it's very lightweight material but it is one we can use all year round which is a must for us it's got lots of straps down at the bottom lots of pegs that go in so just on the other side of the awning again You've got a full door here that opens all the way around with a zip. You can tie it right back. You can open the front panels as well. So you can have it completely open a little bit like a canopy, which is something else that we looked at. But we decided that the canopy wasn't quite the right thing for us because we want to use it in the winter as well. So, but yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this. What I haven't mentioned is what it is yet. So if you just look down here, it's a Van Gogh Belletto 260 element shield and what the element shield does is it protects the material from fading in the sun which is a really good thing because we've always had campers, camper awnings and to be fair they do seem to fade quite quickly but this one I'm really quite impressed with it and so it's the first time we've had it up so should we go have a look inside as well? From the inside, again, we're going back to the door panels. They have curtains on, which I think are really good as well and something I've really taken to. Um, and they just zip up, so when you want them closed, just zip them up. And I think that's a really clever idea, so you don't have to mess about like we did on the campers, sliding the curtains into the rail and everything else. So I'm going to just keep that open for a bit because it does, I don't put them all the way down, but it lets us a little bit of light in. And I like to people watch, so if I ain't got them open, I can't people watch. Also, this when you take this out, you can get an annex that goes onto the end of here. Um, we did have an annex on the caravan awning we had before on the camper rally for the caravan, which was really good. I'm not sure we need an annex, but you never know. That's us, we change our minds all the time, so I'm not sure if you can see, but on this bit here, on the roof bars, these are like little things you can slide onto and you can buy all sorts of attachments um, that go onto there. Up here there's lots of other little bits as well where you can clip things in, I haven't really looked into all this as yet. So another thing we really like on this awning is if you look under here, if I just undo it, you don't need poles to put your awning in. And that one's just actually blown around with the wind, but under here are these like little triangle things which go into the pad that goes against the caravan to push it in. Then it comes down to the bottom and you tension it and because it's windy they do blow off a bit but I'm really liking this because it keeps the pad really well against the caravan and you don't get the drafts coming through so I thought that's a really good idea too so we'll just put the cover back over that because it hides it away so yeah with this one as well you also get the draft skirt that runs along the bottom and you also get this wheel arch cover as well which just goes on with like little limpet things which i found really good 
and as you come along there's some velcro on the back there which actually connects onto the awning itself so I thought that was a really good thing so you can see there's like a, a cross of air beams but these two here at, that run along from the sides they're they're actually individual ones um, and you can take them out and it's just like just gives it a bit more stability which I think with the weather as it is at the minute we really need because it is so windy I think we're really really happy with this awning it's it's been an absolute godsend this weekend with the wind because we've been able to sit out here as well um, got the chairs out and we did buy the Van Gogh chairs which I think I've shown you before in a previous vlog um, and to be honest I've never really been a Van Gogh fan when it comes to awnings but when we saw this one up in Winfields where we bought it from at home I was really happy with it and we, we did have a bit of fun with Winfields as well with Andy and Lee in there um, try to barter for a few quid off as you do you know but we did get a little bit in the end and we got a half price awning carpet as well which is really good um, but yeah so this is the Van Gogh Balletto 260 it weighs around 20 kilos for um, a 260 which is what ours is but a lot lighter than the, the heavy camper ones I'm really really liking it I'm really happy with it so let me know in the comments what you look for in an awning and um, what you think of this one would you buy this one we love it to be fair so yeah let us know I would really like to hear from you and I think really that's about it from us this time I'll be sat outside the front sunning herself but for now I think that's about it and we'll see you on the next vlog bye for now mm -hmm.